The objective of this video is to demonstrate ultrasound guided identification of airway structures essential for the establishment of a surgical airway. We begin our examination just cranial of the sternal notch with a probe held transversely. The trachea, here marked in orange, is air filled which makes it hypoechoic and therefore dark. So is cartilage as you can see with the tracheal ring, which we here mark in red. As we move the probe in a cranial direction, we see a series of tracheal rings. And we now approach our first important anatomical landmark, the thyroid gland, here marked in purple. And we can see both the lobes and the isthmus. And this is very important to localize during a percutaneous tracheostomy in order to avoid injury. The next structure that appears is the cricoid cartilage, here highlighted in yellow. It's a horseshoe-shaped, slightly larger cartilage ring. Just cranially, we see the cricothyroid membrane, which appears as a sharp white line with parallel lines underneath, so-called reverberation artifacts, which appear when there is a distinct tissue-air interface. Further cranially, we see the thyroid cartilage, which appears as an upside-down V, here highlighted in red. We can also assess the muscles of the vocal cords, here highlighted in blue. We can, for example, see if they move symmetrically. They become even more apparent when the model phonates. As we move back caudally over the neck, we see the structures again. The cricothyroid membrane, the cricoid cartilage, tracheal rings, and the thyroid gland. We can also shift our probe slightly to the left, and here we see a muscular structure in the middle of the picture, lateral to the trachea. This is the esophagus, which we here highlight in pink. It becomes even more apparent as the model swallows and we can see the peristaltic movement. This can be useful to identify in order to rule out an esophageal intubation. As we turn the probe 90 degrees to the longitudinal orientation, we see the tracheal rings as a string of black pearls. As we move the probe cranially, we come to a larger hypoechoic structure. This is the cricoid cartilage. Beyond that is the cricothyroid membrane. And cranial to that, we begin to discern the thyroid cartilage. We highlight them once again in color for clarity. A technique that can be used to mark the membrane involves taking a small cannula and moving it carefully under the probe. We see the shadow coming in from the right here. When the shadow is precisely above the cricothyroid membrane, we remove the probe and mark the skin with a pen. This can be an extra level of precaution during high-risk intubations in order to be more prepared if the need for a surgical airway was to arise.